Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a revisit and we're going to be looking at this guy right here, which is the Anycast uh, wireless display adapter. So basically, I did a video about this about two weeks ago and some of you had asked me if it works with uh, a MacBook. So I'm going to show you that simulation. And also, some people had a bit of concerns to say, but you're also using a smart TV. So I want to show it to you guys that uh, the display that you're using doesn't have to be a smart uh, display so basically we're gonna use this monitor that i brought in that right here this is just a normal standard monitor which is supposed hdmi supposed uh d port and also vga and it also comes in with uh two usb ports so basically everything that we're gonna do here will just be connected on this and i will use the macbook and also again use the iphone to simulate for you uh so without any waste of time let's do right that so let me just take this microphone away because it's not in use right so uh, like i said for you to use this you don't really have to have uh any smart display monitor that you're connecting to you can use any standard monitor that you have as long as it supports hdmi and you will have to have somewhere where you're going to plug this in to get your power so however like i said my monitor supports both uh hdmi as well as the usb port which i believe it will be sufficient enough to give it power and basically right here this is the remote and i've got a macbook here my normal macbook that i've been using for some time uh, so normally for me to connect to this monitor i use this hdmi to usb c which allows me to display in there but i'm gonna put it away just to show you guys that i'm not using it and i'm gonna check out my usb cable from my iphone and then take out the microphone so i don't have anything connected in here so let's jump in and see if we can do that simulation so let me take out uh, this cable so at this point there is nothing connected to the monitor i'm going to connect this bad boy right here so let's see that and let's find the hdmi port right here at the bottom all right so the hdmi now is connected so let's see if this is getting power mm, seems like it okay so it is basically getting power so there's only one cable that's connected to give the monitor the power i hope it's visible in the screen so yeah then it's busy initializing and then after it is initialized then you will actually uh start to connect so it is shown the details let's see once it is ready okay initializing connecting to home net so it still remember my previous uh, my Wi-Fi that I used to connect so let me see if now we can do I know it hasn't shown in the how do you call this it hasn't shown in the the connection details but let's see hmm. okay so it basically gets picked up uh, the any cast so let me see if I can mirror right through to it mm, trying to connect trying to connect right so it is connected so whatever you are seeing there on the monitor is basically what's displayed in here on my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and close this so let's see if we can then find YouTube so this is New York church today. So whatever is actually displayed in here, it's basically displayed on the monitor. So I can scroll scroll around to actually see. So the response is actually the same, if you can see. So there isn't any uh, latency. So I don't think you get any any delays, unless if the delays is on the internet, then that's the only time that you'll express the delay. But however, in terms of navigation and go, jumping from one app to another, it should be seamless and simple for you to actually see that. So basically, that's it. Uh, I won't go much into the details when it comes into how it works and stuff. I was just sh trying to show you guys that you don't have to have a smart monitor or a smart TV to do this. You can still do it on a basic monitor which supports HDMI. And you can also use your, your, uh, your power bank to power this device on the USB. So that will basically work perfectly. 
uh, the sound will also go across unfortunately this monitor doesn't have speakers or doesn't have any way it will output the sound to a speaker so there won't be any sound going in but in terms of displaying it will actually go across so if i were to play a video uh, let me just find a uh, video so if i were to play a video and then put it on a full mode and then go on this is iphone 10r so let's see if we can just push it i'm gonna push it to uh, 1080 i'm changing my quality advance uh, 1080 so it is applied 1080 there we go so basically the same way that is displayed here on my phone is basically the same way that is actually displayed on the monitor so this is just like for like if you just want a bigger display this will work in better for you like i did on a previous video to say if you want netflix on the bigger screen this is the way to go if you don't have a smart tv already so let me show you how that would work if you are using a macbook so i'm gonna turn this off and this is, it should go to a normal mode so let me just log in into my macbook while that is busy disconnecting and i will quickly show you how then that is gonna work mm, let's see Okay. so it just stopped mirroring i'm not sure if i'll be able to show you guys how then it will look in here i believe you can see both screens so i'm gonna go up there on top and click on that and then click on screen mirroring and then i will see any cast click on any cast and then i've never paired these two things before but i want to see because i've paired it with my ios device there we go so basically this is connected to that uh wirelessly so i can basically move this netbook around i can actually even close it this will continue to work i also have an option to actually use this as a uh as a, as a duplicate so if i can say mirror display i have got that on my touch but so if i click in here so whatever is shown here it's basically shown on that side and i can actually move around anywhere in my house and this two will remain connected yeah, you can basically have that kind of a setup or you can use this as a separate display then i just click on that and say extended then i can have one document open here i can have a browser running over there i can have a video open here while I actually do my work on this side so basically you can use this thing there's no there's nothing that is actually connected in here it's basically all going wirelessly through this adapter which is something that you can get for 350 bucks and you can have this kind of a uh, simulation happening uh with ease so that has been it about this video i just wanted to bring that up and share with you guys to say you don't have to have a smart tv to do that or a smart monitor you can use any basic monitor that support hdmi and you can have that connected and also you can do this with the macbook and you can actually simulate that so uh on my next video with the wireless uh, display adapter i'm gonna do an android phone as well as a windows computer to also show you guys that it also works with windows computer so that has been it about this video thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe to this video also share drop a comment if you have any question and i'll catch you guys on my next video 